I'm Geraint Coles, I'm the Chesterfield Canal Partnership Development Manager and it's part of my job to help get the Chesterfield Canal more used by all sorts of groups. And we're really excited about the Eckington School project uh, because it builds on things that we've done with Eckington School before. The project originated in a scheme that we did with Eckington School over the last two years where we've taken kids from the school and trained them on our boat, the John Varley, to uh, helm the boat, to steer the boat and to work with passengers. And this has enabled kids from the school to gain the Royal Yachting Association's Helms Person Certificate. The first stage in the project was to come up with a design for the boat. And we worked with uh, various people from the school to come up with a design that would give a good combination of outside space and inside space. And if you look at the hull today, you'll see that there's a sort of large rear back cabin and a fairly long open area at the front called a cratch. Uh, which gives plenty of space for people to actually have a good look at the scenery as it's moving by. The fitting out of the boat is going to be entirely done by the after school club and the volunteers within the school itself. And that's a really important part of this project, that what they had delivered to them was a bare steel shell. Uh, we were there, we commissioned the work from ABC Boats in Lincolnshire. They built us a very, very nice boat shell. Um, and it's our job, or the school's job, to fit that out. And what the Canal Trust is doing is it's helping out with providing a little bit of technical help uh, and the odd person to go down and talk to them about certain you know, key problems, like where do you put the loo, where do you put the, um, the water supply, and so on. So it's going to be a long process. It'll take them quite a long time to do. Uh, like most projects, it's going to go through ups and downs. But I think it's really exciting for them. They'll be building something for themselves, uh, for their own use. In the meantime, we're going to take some of the kids who are involved in that project and bring them down and do some training sessions with them uh, down here once the ice has gone uh, to, to learn how to use the boat and how to, to operate it. So by the time they actually get their own boat, uh, they'll be fully equipped and fully skilled. The boat ultimately is going to be used as a floating classroom. It's going to give people experience of, of learning about boats and boating, yes, but it's also going to be experience about working in a team, working cooperatively, uh, working together towards a common aim, and that's a, a really useful set of skills. It's also going to be an outside classroom in terms of learning about the ecology of the canal, learning about the history of the canal, how the history of this canal has helped shape the landscape around us. Almost everything you see around us here is the result of the building of the canal. Uh, the ironworks which formerly stood behind me, now long gone, was built because the canal was here. The collieries were open because the canal could ship the coal and so on. So it, it helped to shape the entire history of the area. So learning about the canal means they'll learn about the history of their own community. It's also going to give them an opportunity to have a bit of business experience because one of the things that the, the boat will eventually do is it will be run some of the time as a part-time business, as a trip boat or as a day boat in which it will be hired out to, to groups of people. And the pupils will, once they've got their proper certification, be able to run the boat, work with members of the public, learn about customer service, learn about the awkward customer, how to deal with them and so on, and they'll get some real world experience which will equip them better to go into the world of work when they leave school. So it's a really practical project. And of course, the boat will need to be maintained, so you've got maintenance. There's a whole raft of things you can do with it. The site they're going to be based in is Stably Town Basin. And as you'll see when you pan around it, it's far from finished. There's a lot of work to do. And that work's going to be delivered by a combination of Derbyshire County Council, uh, the Chesterfield Canal Trust and the Chesterfield Canal Partnership. And what we're aiming to do here is to create a, a self-sufficient community which actually supports the canal. So that over by the lock, which is over there, there will be a string of cottages for rent, affordable rent. Uh, next to that, there's a small building which will be used as a bunkhouse to accommodate volunteers, but it'll also be used as a training centre, so we'll have a dry land centre to do school work, which will complement the floating centre we have in the boat. And then finally, behind where we're standing here, will be a row of business startup units designed as small business uh, incubators to get people started, uh, about the size of a garage or a double garage. There'll be a row of them along here, but they'll be in a wonderful, uh, attractive location for business. So the idea is that all these activities generate income, which then helps to pay for the maintenance of the waterway into the future. So we're not a drain on the taxpayer into the future.